Hi, I'm Dr. Incognito. In this video, we'll take a look at an integral involving an even power of the sine function. So in this example, we would like to integrate the fourth power of sine x dx. To do this, we're going to use the following two identities. Sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cosine of 2 theta over 2. And cosine squared theta is 1 plus cosine of 2 theta over 2. So we begin by writing sine to the fourth as sine squared x quantity squared. And now using the identity, this is 1 minus cosine of 2x over 2 quantity squared. Uh, doing some algebra, we get 1 fourth times the integral of 1 minus 2 cosine of 2x plus cosine squared of 2x dx. From here we can integrate 1 dx and cosine of 2x dx with no trouble, but cosine squared, uh, that one requires the other identity that I wrote over here. So let's put that in. So this is 1 fourth times the integral of 1 minus 2 cosine 2x plus 1 plus the cosine of 4x over 2 dx. Why 4x? According to the identity, whatever angle you put in here, right there, you should have double it. So this angle was 2x. Excuse me, this angle was 2x. So here we should double it and put 4x. We were using the identity on cosine squared of 2x. So here we have 4x. So now we're ready. We can basically integrate this. I just want to do a small step first. So this is 1 fourth integral of, I would like to split this up as 1 half plus 1 half cosine of 4x. And then the 1 half in the front, I can add to the 1. 1 plus a half is 3 halves. So I'm going to say 3 halves and then minus 2 cosine 2x and plus plus 1 half cosine of 4x dx. So this is what we have to integrate. And just as a reminder, the integral of cosine of x dx is sine of x. And a minor modification of this is the integral of cosine of ax will be 1 over a times the sine of ax. You could do a u substitution, uh, but it's probably better if we can handle this modification without resorting to a substitution. We're going to have to do it twice for two different values of a in this problem. So we have 1 fourth. The integral of 3 halves dx is 3 halves x. And then the integral of 2 cosine 2x is going to be 2 times 1 half sine 2x. And then 1 half, the integral of cosine of 4x is 1 fourth times the sine of 4x. And then plus c. We can clean it up a little bit. 1 fourth times 3 halves is 3 eighths x. And the coefficient here, that's 1 times a fourth. So make it minus 1 fourth sine 2x. And here that's 1 eighth times 1 fourth is plus 1 30 second sine of 4x plus c. So there's a look at an integral 
of an even power of the sine. And in the process, we actually obtained uh, an even power of the cosine. And to handle this, we use the double angle formula sine squared theta equals 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 2. And cosine squared theta equals 1 plus cosine of 2 theta over 2. Okay. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.